We're here with Mark Watson, one of Ellen Crom's Australian ambassadors. Welcome, Mark. So tell me a little bit about your work and your photography. I guess I'm what you'd call an adventure sport photographer or an adventure photographer. Um, I photograph a variety of work from commercial through to, um, I guess what people would label as extreme sports. So anything from big mountain skiing and snowboarding through to working for Harley Davidson motorbikes. Um, that's probably the majority of my work. I also work a fair bit with editorial publications and magazines um, and I might go off on assignments to wherever in the world to go trekking or mountain biking or whatever. My favourite Allen Crom accessory has got to be the new Skyport HS system because the key to a good photo is always good lighting. And HS really enables you to, um, I guess, to control control the light even in, in the middle of the day um, <clears throat> to overpower the sun and also to shoot at very, very high speeds. And that also enables you in turn to shoot at shallow depth of field with flash. So there's a huge amount of um, opportunity that's become available just with this new trigger. Um, for my kind of work, I guess I regularly use it in the sort of high speed scenario where I'm trying to freeze action and um, it's a dream. Simply amazing light in this, Mark. How did you achieve it? How difficult was it? That photo was uh, nearly an impossible brief. Uh, <clears throat> it was a very, very specific brief that came to me from my client. In this case, it was a, a company called Nitro Circus who employs some of the most talented athletes, uh, action sports athletes on the planet. And the brief that came to me was to get two motocross riders or freestyle motocross riders mid-flight at full extension in their trick, one behind the other and overlapping and well lit. And I think when you, when you start to think about that brief, it becomes very, very technical. Um, the first point is that you actually have to have a setup that enables you to do that. So there aren't many uh, setups in the world where you'll have two freestyle motocross ramps right next to each other that enable you to get two athletes, one behind the other. Secondary to that, when we do have a location I'm very fortunate to work with, uh, Nitro Circus, it, our only opportunity to get this shot is in a poorly lit arena during practice. So in this situation, I had to bring in <clears throat> some big mono blocks and high sync them. And that enabled me to make the background totally disappear. So I don't have empty seats. I don't have screens flickering. I don't have the cleaner down on the floor. But I guess the hard part of this image as well is to get both athletes at full extension because the key to getting a good action sports photo as with many other photos, is to get that, that moment. For this kind of photo, you really need to be shooting a minimum of one thousandth of a second to freeze that action. Part of the reason for that is you do have a limited amount of ambient light, and um, that will expose and be visible if you're not shooting above a thousandth of a second. So that's where high sync comes into it. We're now shooting in that photo at sixteen hundredths of a second. Part of positioning your lights is, is knowing the trick, knowing the athletes, knowing what they're going to do. Um, each trick um, varies <clears throat> as to where it will happen in midair. Um, so I am uh, focusing, I guess, on a virtual spot in midair. And with that, um, with, with each trick, I sort of focus on that. But it's a bit of guesswork, to be honest. You, you, you go for a broad area, you focus on that spot, um, and hope that everything comes together at the end of the day. <laughs> That sounds very technical, doesn't it? <laughs> so, tell me the truth, Mark. How many times did you have to take this shot to get it right? <laughs> <laughs> How many times did it take to get that shot? Once, obviously. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm very fortunate to work with some of the best athletes in the world, so it's very nice to be able to say to some of these guys, <clears throat> could you just do that again? And they get it right again and again. Part of the brief in this situation was I had to get both of the athletes overlapping. So that meant I had to find a spot in a stadium <coughs> of whatever, 30, 40,000 seats, where I was gonna get that perfect line of sight to see both athletes' faces. I had to see their faces. They had to be coming towards the camera, but I also had to have them overlapping. So that was probably one of the hardest parts of getting this shot, was actually getting 
the precise point I needed to be shooting a 400 mil lens to be able to see both athletes at full extension in the same trick. Um, fortunately, the athletes were able to do that trick over and over again, and eventually we nailed it. Mark Watson, thanks very much. <laughs> Anytime, Pete. Anytime, mate. That was easy. <laughs> right, wrap. <laughs> <laughs>